But first tonight, we're following several new developments in the crisis in the Mideast, some of them unfolding right here in our area. Dueling protests tonight outside the police station in Englewood, New Jersey. More than 400 pro-Israelis and pro-Palestinians expressing their fears over the fighting in the Middle East. Cops say they're ready for anything, but so far it's all been peaceful. Meanwhile, several families here in New York are holding out hope tonight about loved ones being held hostage tonight in Gaza. And local Jews and Muslims worried about the rising number of hate crimes, and for good reason. New and disturbing numbers tonight just released. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang begins our coverage. 28-year-old Christopher Degar from East Harlem is now charged with a hate crime. Police believe he punched a woman in the face at a subway station Saturday night, then allegedly explained because she was Jewish. And when something like that does happen on a subway, it is very concerning. Stephen Weil is the coordinator for the Flatbush Shamrim, a volunteer neighborhood watch group. He says his community is on edge. We're not looking to instigate, but we're looking to fight back. We're not going to just sit here and, and accept the hate. According to the NYPD, hate crimes have jumped 7% since the start of the Israeli Gaza war. Just last week, there were 51 hate crimes reported in the city, 30 of them against Jews. We're seeing a lot of people getting slapped, getting pushed. The majority of the 30 crimes that we saw that were anti-Jewish, they stem from graffiti, criminal mischief, aggravated harassment, basically almost bordering on, on free speech. With large demonstrations filling city streets recently and fiery rhetoric from both sides from pro-Palestinian and pro-Israeli protesters, thankfully angry words have not spilled into mass violence. There's definitely a heightened concern in the neighborhood and, and all over the city. On the Palestinian side, police report there have been four anti-Palestinian incidents since October 9th. New Yorkers are now being asked to be more vigilant and ready to report anything suspicious. Before the war, hate crimes were actually going down.